Hey guys, <sighs> started? Yeah, it started. So we're back, welcome to episode two. So uh, we were trying to figure out how the game saves. Uh, apparently it auto saves every time you enter a new place. Uh, like a new location, like every time you open a door, it auto saves. Um, but I did, as I was looking, I did see a, a thing for achievements and apparently there's an achievement, like there's something you have to do, like there's like multiple steps. I only did the first part. And apparently, um, I got batteries this time. Apparently, there's act because I was, I was trying to see what that actual the code was, and apparently, there's an actual code you put into that first door we saw in the dream that gives you batteries. Like once you get here, for the for the game player we saw that said you need batteries. Why? I I don't know. I don't know how you can get that code, but we'll find out eventually. Maybe we'll never find out. But that's really all I did, and then I just kind of. We're here now. I didn't even realize he had dialogue options last time. So, we're here now. Um, that's really it. That's really all. And there was apparently, um, apparently also I, I went back just to be sure and you could only spell dog. Uh, everything else just brings you back to the beginning of that brick wall. So dog's the only word you can spell. So I just, I literally just guessed correctly on my first time. Well, my second try, I just guessed correctly. Uh, Apparently that is the only option. I checked for the paths. Not every single combination, obviously, but I did check uh, at least a few. So anyway, here we are, back at it again. Episode two. Let's Sally face. Let's let's go. My own chuck of heaven. Just me and my stuff. Live here alone. Alone, look around you. I have all the company I could ever need. Well, it is nice to have a visitor from time to time, I suppose. Be right back. I'm just kind of spamming the floors right now. Or. unnerving. I didn't like that. That has our homeless buddy again. So according to this, my objective, I have to explore. And I'm like, but I've already explored. I've gone everywhere. I don't know where else. I can't get to the basement. So I need a, a key. Not a walk or anything. I just looked up the uh, some achievements. So I still don't know how to continue on. This lady again. Okay. Oh, he's new. What's going on? Hello, young man. You just moved in today, correct? Yes, sir. I already spoke with your father. It seems you two were out of state when everything happened last night. Story checks out. That's good. I'm trying to get in away for now, okay? I'm investigating a serious crime. Was it murder? I can't talk about that. He... I don't... Did I not go that far last time? What else should I do? I don't know. He 
He's still there. Let's get through these. I'm assuming dialogue's important, so we're just gonna skip past all these. Oops. Did not mean to come back up here. No walkthroughs, no sir. Do we play our game thing? Oh, we need to find a game. Okay. Oh, he's such a friendly dude. Okay, so where else do we go? We talked to Dad. We talked to that random dude. We went to our room. Got to the kitchen. We went to the bathroom. Should we go to the bathroom again? This don't happen that night either, by the way. I don't know where to go. Is she still here? She's still mopping. Oh, we haven't met her yet. On this one, at least. Oh, I didn't do this last time. Okay, cool, cool, cool. How long have you been working here? I don't work here. I live here too. I'm on call 24 7 for any urgent maintenance needs. Despite what you may hear from others, this is a lovely building. I'm happy to call it home. Going on 10 years now. 10 or 16. Seems like a nice place. You betcha. What do others say about the building? All kinds of stuff. I'm sure this building is well over 100 years old, you know. People always complain about one thing or another. But you're hearing no complaints from me. A moment of action. When I see a problem, I fix it. Yes, most people do seem to complain about the small things. You can't spite the small stuff, Sal. It's just no way to live, you know? You're right. Take it from me. Focus on the good stuff. Focus on what makes you happy in this life. Put your energy into that. Change subject. Did you know think what would happen in 403? Shame you and your dad had this crummy first impression. I promise, things aren't typically so gruesome around here. Poor Mrs. Sanderson. Yeah, who's Mr. S who's Mrs. Sanderson? You can't just name drop like that. Come on, spill. Who are they? Oh, never mind that. Best not to set your mind on such dreadful things. Is there anything to do for fun? You know what? I have a son around your age. I think you two would get along great. He's downstairs in our apartment. You should go introduce yourself. Sure, I'll go say hi. His name is Larry. He'll be in the basement. Tell him I sent you down. Key card item. Here, take this one. I got a few extras. Cool. Thanks. Oh. Sal, so, sweetie, I haven't taken care of the Asmars for a long time. Never seen anything, any ghosts or goblins. That's just people's overact imaginations. Too much sweets and scary movies, if you ask me. Okay, so I didn't even know she had dialogue. At all. Cool, so now we can go to the basement. And our son Larry is down here? Who lives in the basement? Vending machine, there's one B. Lots of tasty junk food. Laundry. Wait. Did that just say... Wait, is that a game? Wait, hold on. 
play. Huh? Start. But I can't play it. I can't play the game. Huh. Okay. Whatever. Open. This is Valeria's, right? There's room, Lisa's room, that's Lisa's mom, there's the sun. Got a kitchen. Oh. Ooh, we got an achievement, the unknown. Yeah, I don't like that at all, that was not fun. Okay, so running out. I'm pressing buttons to see if anything like activates. It's one of those games you gotta click constantly. You never know. Yeah. Hey, uh, Larry. Your mom said I should come and say hi. Just moved into 402. Oh, hey, come on in. Doors open. Larry seems normal. Whoa, nice mask. It's a prosthetic. Oh shit, sorry man. It's cool, I'm used to much worse by now, so I'm glad you like it. So, do you like, have no face under there? What happened? I'd rather not talk about that. Okay, change the subject. I'm Larry. I live down here with my mom. I'm Sal. My friends call me Sally Face. I just moved here with my dad from New Jersey. Sally Face. I guess I don't really have any decent friends, to be honest. So once they started calling me that, I figured if I owned the name, those assholes couldn't use it against me. You're a complicated dude, aren't you, Sal? Pretty strange. I like you. We're gonna get along great. Huh, that's what your mom said too. Mother knows best. Why do you live in the basement? My mom always says it's cause we gotta guard the place from rats. But I'm pretty sure she gets this room rent free with the maintenance gig. I try to sound like a, like a, I'm not, I'm not standing like, uh, I don't know. I'm trying to do a voice here. Guys, give me a break. Yeah, it's cool though. I don't mind it. I get to listen to music as loud as I want when she's not around. Why do I sound, I want when she's not around. Why do I sound, why is that? I'm just trying to sound like this, man. Nice. Yeah, it's like my own little bat cave. I like your shirt. It is a nice shirt. Thanks, it stands for Sally Face. Heh. I do have my own clothing line, so. Haha, <laughs> it's actually for this metal band called Sanity Fall. Do you like metal? I don't know. Well, that's gotta change. Check out this song. It's their first single. The full album comes out in a few months.
of the animation. so loud man what what is it the killer is still in the building bruh how do you know that I saw it happen are you high right now I wish I was man but this was some scary shit Okay, so I was helping Mr. Sanders with the clog toilet. I was just finishing up when I heard him burst in, yelling like a lunatic. I know what you've done. Herman told me everything, you stupid bitch. I, I'm trying, I keep telling like country, and I'm not trying to, I'm trying to sound. Yo, bruh, like, what's cap, bruh? Like, you know, this latest, um, dude. Like that. I'm trying to sound like this. She tried to calm him down, but before she could even get a few words out, he was cutting her throat wide open. I was shocked. I couldn't move. I was frozen by fear. Man, just peeking through the crack of the bathroom door. Anyways, it all happened so fast. And then he cleaned up quickly and left. I don't know how, but he didn't even see me. I haven't really told anyone yet. Not even my mom, but I trust you. You know who did it? Yeah, it was definitely Charlie. A big creeper from 204. He was wearing gloves, so I don't think they got any prints or anything. I'm really trying to do this voice. Man, I'm struggling hard right now to do this voice correctly i'm really out here struggling to correctly do this voice like hardcore struggling to do this correctly shouldn't you tell the cops i actually tried to talk to the detective but he won't listen to me without some kind of evidence like my word isn't enough What's up with the guy in 103? Oh, that's the owner. Yeah. That's Mr. Addison. He owns this place. I don't think I've ever seen him leave his room. I always talks through his little mail slot. He's a nice dude, just real strange. Oh yeah, if you see Ad if you say Addison T Please and thank you to him. We give you a cup of his famous tea. I hate the stuff myself, but the adults seem to love it. Okay, so now I have something to say, I have to say to him. Can, I, can we get the song to play again? Radio. What's this thing? That's a, uh, it's a police scanner. I can listen in. Uh, <clears throat> that's a, uh, it's a police scanner. I can listen in on local cop chatter. 
How the hell did you get this thing? That's a story for another day. But hey, you just gave me a great idea. If I make a fake call, maybe I can distract him long enough for you to sneak into 403. Maybe we can find some kind of evidence to show that detective something they weren't looking for. Pretty quick to sign me up for the break-in. Well, I gotta make the call down here and... Just messing with you. I'm totally up for this. Been wanting to peek in that room anyways. Sweet. So what's the plan? I'll call in a bank robbery, a hostage situation, and that should clear out the cops for sure. I'm guessing that'll buy us a few minutes until they figure out it wasn't real. I'm not doing this voice. All my voices are just improv, just based on what I see when I look at the character. Uh, so if you, you know, you actually, you know, sound like this, I'm not making fun of you. I'm just trying to play the game and make it more interesting. Gotta be upstairs when I do that, so we can make those minutes count. We can use my walkie-talkies to communicate during the whole thing. Then I can give you a heads up, too. Once I know the cops are coming back. It's pretty solid to me. We just switch the bank robbery with armed robbery like a gas station or drugstore. Make it a little more believable. Hmm, yeah, I guess you're right. Good call, Sally. Here, take this. Head up to your room and let me know when you're ready. Just press that shift button there to call me. I started sounding southern again. I want to hear the music again. Now that we talked to her son, let's go talk to Lisa again. She's on floor... Floor three? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Sal. What's up? Oh, do you need any help? I think nice enough. Let's ask. Are you poking fun at me for mopping the same spot for so long? <laughs> I mean, you have been po po you have been mopping for a while. Well, I like to be there, but honest, sometimes my mind just wanders and I lose track of time. It's cool. I'm the same way. I could tell you're a creative type, like my Larry. I'm so glad you two are getting along. Sometimes I worry about him. I'll keep him out of trouble. We're friends now. I'll keep him out of... What do you mean by that? He didn't tell you about... Or... What have you two been talking about? I mean, it seems like he's not telling me something. I thought we were I thought we bonded. I thought we were bros. What's why is he hiding stuff? To take it personal, Sal. Larry's just the quiet type, you know? Yeah, I could be give him some time and it'll warm up to you. Oh, I can't do the first option anymore. That's weird. So we gotta go to the fourth floor. That's our floor. That's where this stupid police officer is. Let me use shift. Oh, we gotta be in our room. Okay. Right, 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 right. You know what? Let's get that Addison tea thing he mentioned. How many times for that tea? Let's get some tea. Do that first. 
Apparently what we're about to do is destroy. I don't think this continues the story at all. So let's just get some tea now. Uh, what we can. Cool. I don't think that does anything, but uh, I don't want to miss anything in this game. Uh, back to four. Let me go into our room. Let me calm. Try to get back into four oh three. And he's gone. Oh, wow. Broke cop here with some books. Look like anything important. This looks like junk to me. Alright, keep looking then. There's gotta be something else. Well, there's a... Uh... Man, this is pretty twisted. Tell me about it. There's these little figures. Looks like one's missing. I can see a small clearing in the blood. Oh! These are the pony toys that he had, right? Didn't he say a complete collection? What if he didn't have a complete collection? What if he only has one because he stole it from here? Remember he saw those pony toys earlier. That Charlie dude. That's it. I know how we can get him. Get out of there and come down to the basement. Sanderson and Charlie both collected those weird toys. There's nuts over those things. Mrs. Sanderson got this super rare one or something. She was telling me uh, about it. They, I was fixing her toilet. Anyways, I bet you Charlie couldn't resist taking it. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if that's why he offed her in the first place. That dude did always did give me the creeps. Just something unsettling about him, you know? Wow, this is crazy. That guy definitely needs to be caught. We can't live in a building with a murderer. Exactly. That's why you gotta get into Charlie's room and see if you can find that toy. Wait, why do I have to do it? I stuck into 403. Charlie isn't too fond of me. There's no way he'd let me in. He accused me of stealing snacks from his room. Snacks. Fucking fatty. Alright, alright, I'll do it. I'll be able to sleep at night otherwise. Cool. You're the man, Sally. Here, take this back. You can slip the toy in without touching it. Why do I get the feeling you've done this before? Haha, <laughs> nah. I just watch too much TV. Oh! Is this what I clicked then? Because I just went to 403, right? Uh, not this again. Did Chug put you up this? No, I just got a weird feeling about it. Who's Chug? He's the big kid on three. Usually can't miss him, but anyways, I don't believe in ghosts. Never saw one. I guess so. Okay. Music. We're trying to get this song to play again for a while now. <laughs> I think you have to come with another distraction. I've actually left it. I'm just happy with that. I don't know about Charlie's, he likes to eat and hoard. Can I think of something?
Oh, I got another achievement. Cool. Nice. That music's so much better than this music. This music sucks. So... That guy still gone? Grunt. Oh, here's Chug. I can voice for him. Hey, I'm Sally Spudin. You can call me Sally Face. Chug, uh, nice to meet you, Sally Face. Nice meeting you, Chug. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, I did. Knew it. I knew it. I'm not crazy. Ha. See, so you, you seen that old man? Old man, no, I think it's just crazy homeless dude that sleeps up on five sometimes. But I did see lots of something crazier stuff than just that old bum. Like things moving all by their own, weird noises and stuff, you know? I keep trying to tell everyone, but no one ever believes me. Well, I believe you. I think, Sally Face. Am I leaving the camera? Am I, like, leaving the camera? I'm in the camera. Okay, cool. That's a good camera. I did see a girl once, huh? Girl, I thought it was a homeless guy's daughter, but she just disappeared. That's why I use my key to lock the bathroom shut tight. It's too scary. Wait, you have a key to 504? Yep, found it on the ground. Let's go check it out together. No way, I'm not going in there. Ghosts live in there. How about you let me borrow the key and I'll check to make sure it's safe. Can't yeah, just to give you the key, but maybe you could trade me something for it. What nickname? Never mind. I can't keep the walkie-talkie or the tea. I feel like the tea's important. Tea? Mm. Candy or money? Where would I find money? my dad for some money he seems nice enough i can't i haven't seen any money anywhere all i can think of is asking our, our dad she's like i know where i can get some so maybe our dad has maybe he's got uh got that money let's ask him oh he's asleep too perfect we know we gotta wake him up then we gotta get his money or unless we just rob him at least he's trying now not dreading himself in booze not totally giving up on life on me Hey, a quarter. Score. Oh, there was just a quarter just there? Oh, well, that's... I, okay. I mean, I thought I'd have to do more, like, to convince him to give me money or steal it from him. But I guess I just literally just walk in there and I get a quarter. So, that's cool. I go back to three. Talk to Chug. Um, quarter? Man, heck yes. Here, take it. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching episode two of Sally Face. Uh, it was exciting. It was fun. We uh, still haven't figured out that achievement. Uh, we just met Chug. We got a key. Probably gonna end it there, uh, for now. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. And, as always, stay smiling. Because the world sucks. But that doesn't mean you have to suck with life. <laughs>